And I would like to thank uh, the World Journal for all of their hard work putting this event together. Uh, in addition, I would like to thank our Why I Work small business owners for sharing their dreams, successes, and story with all of us. Because their stories will become role models for the next generations to follow. You know, I don't want them to just become uh, a lawyer, I want them to transform the legal industry. I don't want them to just become an analyst of Goldman Sachs. I want them to be the CEO of Goldman Sachs. I was almost 30 years old before I had a sense that I was on a path to my future. And I certainly did not see my current position as CEO of Health First, which is one of the greatest privileges that I've ever hoped for in my life. Later, someone says, you know, there's another opportunity. So long story short, in 11 years, I changed my job five times. So I always joke about, I said, if I submit my resume to somebody, really it looks like I can hold my job long enough, right? Shiny shoes. During the performance, I asked um, 100 audiences uh, come to the stage and uh, they polished my shoes one after another. Mm -hmm. So I was like being proud of myself and uh, each person got paid actually. They pay like 10 bucks each 10 seconds. So it was ridiculous, right? <laughs> and then after that, I spent $500 and uh, uh, I asked people whether, you know, in our performance uh, territory, so we're always um, wondering this, this issue whether performance is uh, about losing money because we're not selling any products, not any like sculptures or, or paintings, photography. So we're asking people uh, whether performance is about losing money or it's, does it have like any potential to, to get money. Because of this, you know, because of the fact that we see, you know, increasing amounts of uh, the immigrant population coming in, we find that we have to be culturally sensitive and to think about new innovative ways of reaching out to them. So. From my studies, learning how to plan, execute flawlessly, learning about how our brain inherently designs systems and infrastructure into developing this infrastructure for providing healthcare for the underserved, uh, for you know, some who may be undocumented uh, immigrants, and having that cultural sensitivity, really understanding you know, the background and where we as a Chinese race is coming from. I would say for past three years that I have um, spent in America, I'm always, you know, like those typical Asian girls who work hard and I play piano and, uh, you know, but I mean, I guess pageant really helped me discover the other side of myself. This past year, I've been in the supernova scene competition yes. where I got the champion there and that's what gave me the confidence and like gave me make, make the decision that I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to create music and go into popular music as one of my dreams so that more people can hear my music and enjoy my music. Chinese opera is actually it's a total package of Chinese theater. We call it total package of Chinese theater. Then you can involve my theater, panda my theater, and singing theater, uh, dance theater, martial arts theater, and live music, and beautiful, beautiful costume. But too bad many people tell me, well, put down. I don't understand. 
that's why uh, st uh, the still promoting Chinese theater in this country. And, and in Asian culture, in Chinese culture, we have a saying called Wei Yu Du Shu Gao. The parents treat education absolutely with the highest priority. So what you see here, it's a thought process, a value system that is being carried out generation after generation. So there's no question we are viewed as a group of smart people. I think there are many, many reasons behind it. How do I feel? Um, to be a mother definitely changed a lot my idea in design. Um, in the beginning of the two years, we are pretty much um, trying to be cool. Right now, we design more like with the living style, with colorful things. Yeah, 就算跟工会谈系统我们有三万多个会员签约办事中国人我是在会员人的中我要说中文所以呢我在结婚带的工会没有一个代表中国人的人我有几万个中国工人我要说中文你不能跟我说我就不跟你谈 most young people don't necessarily know, and they do need to try a few things. And I, as I said, I, I think it's it's something. Don't be afraid of it. Fear is very difficult. Dealing with your family's fears, your parents' fears. What are you doing? You know, it's difficult because you don't know exactly where you're going to wind up. But doing it yourself, finding friends, people you admire, mentors. Maintaining your values and taking responsibility for your own behavior, I believe that in the process of that, you discover what really turns you on as a human being and what gives you meaning in life. You will find the answer. So fundamentally, we have to value the human values, the community value, and really elevate. And that's what Chinatown Partnership does. Chinatown Partnership is a partnership based in Chinatown trying to unleash the human potential, liberating, elevating the communities, and bringing it to the last, le le next level. I hope that answers the question. Great. This is a very profound meeting here. <laughs>